Welcome to another episode of Baby Bounce Back. This is a video compilation of week 38 fitness training after having my fourth child. He is 10 months old. It's hard to believe we've been doing this for 10 months already. I just have five pounds left to go. I have a confession to make that I had cookies. We ate cookies over the weekend. Now the good news is I haven't gained any weight. Uh, but the bad news is I Deep still haven't lost you. any. So I have the just still the last five pounds to go. I was thinking it would be a good idea to lose those pounds before week 41 of fitness training because he was 41 weeks in utero and then I took six weeks of rest and then 41 weeks of fitness. So it's given me a goal or at least a mark point to try and end this playlist because once I reach my pre-baby weight, this I'll consider this playlist finished. I had a bit of trouble with my back when I strained it putting him into the car seat. All my other babies I had every day a chance to put them into the car seat as they grew and this is the babies that because of covid we don't go anywhere so it was just a big surprise one day putting him in his car seat and he was a lot bigger than he used to be and my back muscle said nah -uh. so i suppose this is my public announcement saying that i'm ready to hit it again i'm feeling better my back is feeling better i'm still staying up late with the baby isn't sleeping through the night much right now but I think I am ready to start put, putting all the effort back into my workout. Look at that baby. He's walking around a lot more and he's much more steady when I don't have the phone pointed at him. I did do my workout on Monday, but it was rowing and I did not manage to get any videos of it. So I rowed for a thousand meters three times. And no, I did not break any personal records. So there it is. This is my workout for Wednesday, and I have in my hands the 40 pound kettlebell. This is the first time I picked it up in a long time, and it did feel quite a bit heavier than the 30 pounds. <laughs> I used to use the 40 pounds exclusively before the baby, so this is just another step in the right direction, getting it back. The stronger my core gets, the better my back feels. Are you doing your dumbbell? Huh? Is that your dumbbell swings? Go ahead. Yep. I feel like that. I know what that's like. Shout out to my friend for sending us this baby Yoda outfit. It's super cute. It's adorable. We appreciate it. Thank what? you so much. He's wearing his 12 month clothes now. I bagged up all of his nine month stuff. It's time to give it away. I don't hang on to baby stuff. I'm thinking about rearranging the room because he's getting into everything. <laughs> I gotta be very honest with you. These are supposed to be sprints, but I just kind of jogged them. This is our fifth week of homeschooling, and after our first week, I felt like someone had taken my brain out of my skull, used it as a pinata, and then put the remnants back in my skull and asked me, what's two times four? And I was like, no, because that's what homeschooling made me feel like the first two weeks of school. There was just a lot of, no. you can ask my husband, he comes home from work. He says, babe, what's for dinner? And I'm like, I don't know. And then he says, hey, what do you want to do tonight? I don't know. That's been my standard response to anything he asked me after school. I don't know. Uh, when are you, you going to take a shower? I don't know. The good news is because we took the third week off of school and we didn't have any school that third week, I was able to kind of veg and recuperate. The hardest part of the beginning of the school year is learning new habits, making sure everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing. And then once you've got those habits down, it gets easy. And look what I caught the baby doing. Hey, what are you doing? Are you trying to read that book? Are you trying to read that book? Oh, you got watermelon in your mouth, huh? He started taking an interest in books. We're all sitting around reading books all day, and he started doing it too. They really do pick it up. And he's gotten such an interest in books, he pulls them all off the shelves. They must all be on the floor, so we need to go over some more book etiquette. This is my gym room floor today. What was I to do? My third child loves puzzles. And he started doing this one and decided that it was too hard. And so he left it, and it's been there overnight like this in my gym. You might have seen this one under my rower. It is a puzzle. You can see a few of the pieces missing. I found it for free and brought it home so we could put puzzles together. And then we glued it together, so now we've got a, a kind of a map of the solar system too. Or, you know, artistic rendition anyway. I usually hang it up on the wall, but this is now its new home, right under my rower. So when I row, I row across the spans of the solar system. 
My little dude is rowing in his pajamas today and wanted to give it a try and see how he did. He hasn't had much instruction on it, but I'm happy to let him give it a try whenever he likes. I really put that solar system under my rower to protect it from the baby. It used to be hanging on the wall and he pulls it down, right? And so I put it under the rower somewhere where he, I knew he couldn't get to it. But I just can't keep him out of the gym anymore. He's, he's a climber. He climbs now. So there's no keeping him out of anywhere. <laughs> Since I'm finally converted to losing these last five pounds before week 41 of training, I decided to pick up my set of 20 pound dumbbells and see what it felt like to do a thruster. Yeah, it sucked. I could do it, but not 50 times 50 reps for my workout today, so I went back to the 15s. It is useful to challenge yourself by increasing weight. With the 15s, I can focus more on keeping a tight belly, tight butt, tight core, and that's really what I need for my back. Every opportunity to engage my core is another win for my back. Just to let any new viewers know, I have a spinal fracture. That's part of this whole playlist is recovering from pregnancy with a spinal fracture. Um, pregnancy leaves your ligaments all jelly, and the ligaments were the only things holding my spine together. And that's been quite an adventure, so that's kind of what this whole playlist has been documenting, my return back to fitness. I caught him doing it again. He hears the phone ding, though, when I press record, so he gets distracted and comes to see what I'm doing with my phone. What are you doing? You wanted to see this stuff when you weren't screaming in the middle of the night, right? Yeah, you heard me. I still need your help. No, I'm coming. As you can see, I spent my cool down stretches on the floor finishing up this puzzle with my boys. Baby mostly like shuffling all the pieces around, so we had to keep finding the same ones over and over again. It took us about 10 minutes, so this is about 10 minutes worth of footage, and I'll condense down to 30 seconds for you. You don't have to watch 10 minutes of us putting the puzzle together, although maybe. I don't know. Let me know if you think that'd be interesting. As you see, it's impossible to keep the baby out of the gym now. I just can't do it, so I'm going to rethink this room. You high five for me? Ah. All right. Let's go and drink some chocolate milk. Remember, keep moving.